Hello everyone. Well, the honeymoon's over. I've had the Vax Air cordless for a few weeks now. Am I still raving about it? Do I still love it? Do I still love the ability to whiz through the house without bothering with a cord? Do I love the fact that it's so lightweight? Do I love the fact that it picks up very well on carpets and hard floors? Yes, I still love the Vax Air cordless. And today I'm in a, a different house to my normal residence. The carpets have been vacuumed a couple of days ago, but there's only been me and two small dogs in the house with no shoes on in the two days we've not vacuumed. Looking around, there's a few little visible bits on the carpet, but overall, most people would look at the carpets and think they're fine, I won't vacuum them. So what I'm gonna do for this short video is I'm gonna whiz around every room in the house. It's a three bedroomed house. There's a large through lounge, a kitchen, bathroom and a sunroom. I'm gonna clean everywhere, all the carpets and floors with the Vax Air cordless. It's fully charged, I've got the first battery in. Should I need to change the battery during cleaning, I can because I do have the other battery that is supplied with this machine, so up to 50 minutes use. So you should get about 25 minutes from this one battery. That should be more than enough time for me to whiz around all around this house. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna film, not in real time, I will do a bit of editing, because it'll be a bit boring for you to see me vacuum every inch of the house, but I'm not gonna fake anything. The container, I've cleaned all this up before, so it's more or less like a new machine. The container is clean, the filter's clean, I've cleaned the brush roll, so everything is like it would be when you receive it. So it's just gonna be a condensed tour going all around the house, and then when I've cleaned everything, we're gonna have a look at the dirt bin and see how much the Vax Air cordless has picked up. Right, I'm gonna start off cleaning this living room. It's quite a large, through lounge, then I'm going to go on to the sunroom behind me, then the kitchen, then the hall, then the bathroom, then the downstairs bedroom, then the two upstairs bedrooms. So I'm going to whiz around the whole house, shouldn't take me long, and then I'll be back to see just how much this Vax Air cordless has removed from all these carpets.
back here with some white paper and the Vax Air cordless. Now I've cleaned the entire three bedroomed home, the hard floors, all the carpets and where necessary I whipped out the hose and did a few of the corner bits where I saw some dirt. Just as you'd normally use the machine, that's how I used it. I didn't go extra slow, I just whipped around the house at the speed I would normally, well actually slightly faster because I wasn't having to unplug at all. I just whizzed around every floor, every room without having to unplug. Now this isn't a huge house, but it's, it's a spacious house. Uh, all the bedrooms are double bedrooms. It's got a large through lounge, conservatory, etc, etc. So I did have to change the battery. I was being quite thorough. I wasn't going any slower than I would clean normally, but I did make sure I cle you know, cleaned as much of the area that I could. I didn't move any furniture, but I made sure where I could, I cleaned under the furniture and just everywhere. Because the, the Vaxair is, is more compact and it's very, very maneuverable, I was able to sort of whiz in and out underneath things really easily. Now I did have to change the battery midway. Now with most other cordless cleaners, probably nearly every other cordless cleaner that you can buy at the moment, I would have had to stop cleaning. I'd have had to take the battery out and charge it up before I could continue. But there was no problem with the air cordless, obviously, because I had another battery fully charged. So all I did, the machine stopped. I thought, no problem. So I just took out the battery and fitted the fully charged one and continued my clean. So that is fantastic. So, here is some paper and here is the container. Like I say, I've not faked this, I don't have to fake this. This is genuine everyday dirt throughout the home that you'd find normally. But I'm quite surprised by this. The carpets didn't look dirty and I know that they would have been vacuumed thoroughly before I got to this house. So I'll just pop the air out of the way. I've bought some paper because it's probably easier to see than dumping all the dirt on this sort of dirty coloured carpet. It's very clean though, thanks to the, the Vax Advance carpet washer that I demonstrated a while back. So, let's have a look, shall we? Now what's first coming out, there's sand here. Now, I know that the dogs that live here did actually go to the coast a couple of days ago. So they would have got a bit of sand. So there was still sand, even after the carpet had been vacuumed. So that is a surprising bit. I'd expect the machine to pick up surface litter, but this sand could have been in the pile and you wouldn't have seen it. So keep shaking. There's still a bit more to come. It's got lodged a bit in between the, the shroud and the bin, but that's no problem because I can just release the inner cyclone and the shroud. Oops, I think that's what I need to do. Let me just pull it out completely and just see if there's any more dirt. Come on. Doesn't want to that's it. Give it a shake. So that's a canister empty. And just so I can show you every last bit of dirt. Let's give this a tap. Wow. Right, I think that's thoroughly emptied. Let's have a closer look at this filth. So here we have it. The contents of the dirt bin after I cleaned the whole house. Obviously, the more fibrous material, that's made up of probably carpet fibres and dog hair. So that's normally on the surface of the carpet and even a cordless sweeper should be able to remove that sort of dirt. And most, most cleaners should be able to remove that. So we'll remove the lightweight surface dirt. It's this dirt that you probably wouldn't expect a cordless vacuum to remove. This is grit. Like I said, some of this could be sand from when the dogs had a day out at the coast. 
and we'd have obviously brought some sand back in on their paws, in, in their coats. But that is a sort of result you can get to with a, with a Vaxair cordless. You know, I've sung this machine's praises and I've had it a few weeks now and it's been the cleaner I use every day around my own home and I've got a lot of vacuum cleaners I could use but it just stands in the corner, it's always ready to go, it's always charged and if I want to quickly whip round I use the air cordless and this is why, because I know it's, it's doing a thorough job it is absolutely fantastic if you'd like any more information on the Vax air cordless visit www.vax.co.uk and you can also buy it direct from Vax if you wish. Take a look at the reviews on their website. It is starting to get reviews on other websites. It is new but on the whole the reviews do match what I think about this machine. It is the best cordless vacuum cleaner I've used. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.